everything going? Everything is good over here. How is everything on your side? It's shocking, you know. It's shocking. To it's it's very shocking right. to know that somebody who you personally personally know right. did all of this, and right. it's so big all over the media. It's right. crazy. And mm -hmm. let, me say, let me say something to you before you go. Okay, sometimes when I bring on people on the live, you have to don't pay attention to the comment them whatever they're saying. Focus on me, right? Because some of these people, yeah, it's all good. They're, they're not really right up here, so. And some of them yeah. have a mental problem. And some of them have uncle and brother and daddy walk around and feel people girl fit and people boy fit. So you have to see with them. For, sh for sure. Right. It's been, it's been a norm in the culture of Jamaica right. for, for these things to happen and people just accept it. Right. And let yeah. me, let's clarify one thing because I'm trying to explain to them that the man dead and them that understand that the man dead. They are saying that in Ghana, one different country and all kind of something. So me actually have explained that in dead, in Ghana, dead. In spirit, He's God. dead. Right. He was actually telling them in the police station that he was going to die, but they right. didn't understand what he was saying. In his language. That's exactly what he was in saying. In terms of prophecy. Right. He did, they didn't understand what he was saying. Right. But they were just laughing and joking. I know Kevin since he was 14 years old. Right. I went to church with him. Wow. So that man never worked a day in his life. Right. He, he was preaching for all of his life. Right. And once he became over 18, he got married. He had a wife. Mm -hmm. And he was actually caught here in Canada with multiple different men, but he found a scheme in Jamaica where he could manipulate and trick the system and trick the people. Right. So, 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 so the church, so you and him was going to the same church? We were going to the same church since we were kids. Well, and what was his life in Canada? What was, what was his life like in Canada? People liking him or are the relationship wise before he got married well people loved him because guess what he was young and he proclaimed himself to be a prophet right and he was always he was always hearing from god for some reason he said he was always hearing from god but everything that god told him was to kill people or this stuff is going to happen to you. Right. Everything was like doom and gloom for him. Right. It wasn't anything necessary good. Right. Everything was just, you know, and him um, collecting, offering late fees when you get to church, that's typically what he learned in Toronto. He oh. learned it from all the bishops. So all the bishops here loved him because he was 14, 15, 17, and they groomed him. Oh. And once he tried to sleep with my friend, mm -hmm. who is a male, who is a boy, right. and we went to pastor with it. Pastor denied it. Then we went to the overseer. Overseer denies it. Right. And they still had Kevin traveling all over, preaching and ministering to people until his wife actually caught him with a man multiple times. Then he migrated to Jamaica. Wait, wait, wait. They, and they, then, they, they said that he was arrested in Canada. He, he, was, he was, not to my knowledge, he was never arrested in Canada. Kevin was always preaching. He traveled to Africa, mm -hmm. even... Years before, Kevin was always in England. Mm -hmm. You can even look it up on YouTube. He's been in England. Right. They, like two, they said that he was in jail for, for six months before he was deported back to Jamaica. That's the news I saw that they said the police said. Because the liar was confirming that, I guess, she must have spoke to the police in Canada and... They said he was arrested for, he was in jail for six months for, for having sexual assault with a 21 year old. Um, he's been with multiple men. Right. Men. Does he have any kids? He has one child. Oh, you have one? That, yeah.
that is unknown. So church is a thing where they hide and cover things mm -hmm. because no one would ever come out and say, I know Kevin personally, mm -hmm. you know, I've been Kevin's best friend. Everybody right now, they're, they're in a disarray. They're, mm -hmm. they're surprised and, and they're hiding. Right. They're hiding. And in order for Kevin to be a bishop, mm -hmm. there's other churches out there under him. Hmm. That's one thing you need to know. Right. So if he's Bishop um, Kevin Smith, that means there's other churches. And there's other churches doing the same thing that Kevin has done. Right. Um, so, so, so do you know if the child living in Canada, where the child is living, if it's a girl or it's a boy? It's a daughter, it's to a daughter. my knowledge. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, that, so he does have one kid and... Uh, and then he's, he, he was married in Canada, right? Right. So was his wife, mm -hmm. was, his wife was going to the same church? They were, uh, they were going to my sister church. Like okay. they say, sister church. Like right now, I don't go to church. I don't have nothing to do with church. Right. There's so many stuff that's happened in church that I don't want to be a part of that garbage. Right. And yeah. Okay. Once okay. Kevin was caught with, with, with one of my friends who made a complaint to the pastor mm -hmm. and they covered it and they actually disgrace you and say, you know, this is a spiritual man. He would never do anything like this. And, mm -hmm. you know, do you know who you're talking about and all this stuff? Then, you know, it's just time for you to grow, go. Right. Yeah. Do you think that um, when he was in Jamaica and so forth, running the church, do you think that he was still down there having sexual relationship with boys and, and all of that? Of course, he was doing that the whole time. You know, it would only take a fool to know that he was not having relations with men and uh, little young boys. Right. Because his main focus was on men. He always disgraced women. He had no love for women. He's always had no love for women and no respect. Because as, as you said that, I was watching a video with him and he was, he, when the lady gave him the $200, he said to the lady, say, say $200, when he said $200 can't feed you your chink family. Ching bang pickings. Ching bang, yeah, and then yeah. the guys then give him the money, his, 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 his body language towards the guys that was, was always a present way because they said a that present. he has yeah. three, three, they said they have three little boys that living in, in the in the house with him. That's what I heard. I don't know how true it is and so forth. And But where do you mm -hmm. think he get this money to build this house? Was he? But wait a minute, wait a minute. They said that he was also a dealer in Canada too. That's what they said. No, that, Dr. Love, what I know, okay, when you're a preacher, when you're a minister, remember, Kevin is a master manipulator, right? right? He went to um, Bible college. Mm-hmm. So he studied psychology, right. like he's a master manipulator. Right. So he went, he went to school. When you are a preacher, you get paid to be a preacher. Once you go to any church to preach, mm -hmm. that's, that's your, that's your money. Right. And people are collecting offering for you two or three times right. more. And plus you get like a, a, a big check cut to you. So that's enough for, for him to live off. Since he was 14, he's never lived a straw in his life. He's never worked like, you know, honest bread. It's just all church money. So is, do you know if his wife is still alive? Obviously, she's still alive. But if they're church people, they're not going to come out. I would love for her to say her piece right. on the man she really knew or who knows if she's going to come out. You right. get it? But Kevin is a person that does not respect women. Right. He's always humiliate women. Yeah. Always. And for all these women to be talking about him like he's some God, he is not what they what they use on you is it's called conversational hypnosis right so there are certain words that they say 
and they hypnotize you and they put you under spell. And that's how these preachers can get you to do certain things without yeah. you knowing. And that's how he could get these police officers to be shooting after other police officers because they're hypnotized and they're under a spell. So, so let me ask that question. What do you think? What do you think happened in that car? Yes, I mean, wait, wait, before I go there. What I noticed is that when he was in the police station, there was something funny about his whole conversation and his, his chanting, he was, he was chanting and so forth, right? Right, right. What do you really think have happened? Because you know him. You, you know him very well. We don't really right. want to see him and so forth. You grew up with him. You, you, you was in the same environment with him and so forth. What do you For think sure. happened to him in that car yesterday? I think when he was in, this is spiritually deep. I think when he was in the police station, he was telling him their destiny. Mm -hmm. Because I think for him to have this plan that he's going to slaughter 144 people, I think what he was doing, the, the devil requires more blood. Whoever is in those kind of rituals. Mm -hmm. they, they always want more blood right. so I think that was to, to, to buy him more time right whatever right. deal he makes if you notice he right. operates like the African church right? and some of the stuff that he's learned he's learned it in Toronto you know under certain bishops so the power that he's operating under mm -hmm. did not buy him whatever happened at the church it didn't buy him enough time because he didn't get to slaughter all the the people that he wanted to mm -hmm. so he knew that it was going to be the end for him right okay and i think mm -hmm. kevin knew it was time to go and he was never going to tell on anybody who was involved he would have never if you know kevin if you look at his interview, he was just smiling and, and he was telling them rapture, rapture means, means rape. And he was talking like effeminate, like almost like he's a, a lady. Right. And then he started to prophesy that God called him since he was nine years old mm -hmm. and all of this and all of that. So I think Kevin, whatever demon that was working with him, I think, it worked and and um cost an accident and then he's under yeah and then he's he, under some right I mean, go ahead and then the the young man which is the policeman that died in the car accident because i was talking to a spiritual leader yesterday and I said that that young man in the car that is also a, a part of sacrifice car whatever happened in the car right. yesterday, it did have to happen yeah. and I get to understand that they had a police officer that based on what have happened and the way Kevin was, they probably don't even make it, right? And uh, yeah. and what they were saying that what 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 Ben C was saying is that when he left the police station, the, 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 the higher spirit that he was working with, right, that he tapped into was just waiting for the perfect yeah. time to make yes. whatever happened and so forth. And when you look at him when he with the whole accident and the way he died and so forth, you could see that something terribly went wrong and those police officers see something in the car, whatever it is, they know what yeah. it is and they probably never live to tell the story, which one died and so forth. And um yeah. with 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 so with that and so forth, one thing I said this before of what my spiritual ways tell me that I do believe that there's body at that church and this body at his home buried do you you know him um i think kevin was always doing this mm -hmm. he just got busted he was always doing this look at those people who he rented um the place to he chained them in the house i think he was always getting foreigners from abroad and slaughtering them and because jamaica is so slack mm -hmm. They, they haven't figured it out that this man has been murdering people for years. And I think the church is buried on a lot of um, 
a lot of dead people and they need to do forensic uh, scene. They need to mow that uh, shit down and just, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And the, and the home, I do believe that I was, this may sound crazy, but I was looking at the home and I was looking at a particular way in the home and I'm saying, looking at it and I say, you know that people is buried there. You know, he's right. been doing it for years and burying people. It, this man was like a serial killer that have been doing it and tapping into spirit. And also the females then, the females then that was glorifying him in the church, I was saying that I don't think that those females should get involved with any farmer guys. And I think that family member who have family that was going to that church, they need to look deeper within to them because I don't know Kevin, you know Kevin, and the right. them that that he have done over the years, and then what? But what do you think about the? I mean, without the call and name, but what do you think about the the church in Canada, the pastor them over there, that where he was going and so forth? I know there's a lot of things you can talk about. I understand, but I know you. There, there, no, but there there is a lot of there is a lot of things that's happening in church because multiple times mm -hmm. when things happen in church, they just bury it. Right. Bury it. Okay. For instance, it so happened that one of my good friends mm -hmm. is a minister. Right. And I went to him. This is something that somebody came and confessed to me. Right. Like, say, for instance, we'll use the name Cheryl. I'm, right. We'll use the name Cheryl for, oh, I'm sleeping with Sister Cheryl. Mm -hmm. And Sister Cheryl's husband is my friend. And mm -hmm. who is a minister? And I went, this is a true story now, but we're just using this right. thing for example. Right. And I went to him. I went to my friend and I said, you know, so-and-so said that they're sleeping with your wife. You know what the guy said to me? Mm -hmm. He said, that's a lie. And he, he is spiritual enough to see and, and, and how God um, gave him this wife and all of this stuff. And it turns out that two of the child Mm -hmm. The woman had three kids. It turns out that two of the child is not for him mm -hmm. out of all three children. And this is church. Oh. And it ended up that the same woman even bus fight in church physically mm -hmm. over this man. Mm -hmm. Right? So there is some nastiness. It turns out that there's another minister who I'm working with at my workplace who's sexing off all the young girls. And when I went to pastor wife, who is supposed to be like my mother. Mm -hmm. And I, and I went and I said, you know, uh, you know, brother, so-and-so who is actually a preacher to ministering, praying on people, mm -hmm. crying tears and speaking in X amount of tongues. Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, he, you know, a bunch of girls came to me and they said they're sleeping with them. The woman actually started to hate me, hmm. hate me. So I became like the enemy in church. Now I caused too much trouble because this is not right. If these people say that they're serving God, mm -hmm. then why you as a minister, you're a playboy at work and you're calling your wife, your sister. You mm. get it? Right. So this minister was sleeping with a whole bunch of girls. Mm -hmm. He has his wife. And his daughter, mm -hmm. and he told people that he only has one daughter, he's not married. Hmm. And even have women at work fighting over him. And I went to the higher people who's in charge, mm -hmm. and they say, No, none of that is going on. And these are people who is preying on you. So they're transferring spirits onto you. Mm -hmm. Whoa. And there's a, there's a lot of molestation that goes on in church. Yes, there's a, there's a lot. Uh, there, there is yeah. a lot. What we, we're, I'm not saying that God is bad. It's the people. Correct. It is the people. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't know God for yourself, and if mm -hmm. you don't stand up for yourself mm -hmm. and know the word of God for yourself, you will become one of these individuals also. Because so many people are wondering, how can Kevin get so much people to do all of these things? Right. It's called conversational hypnosis. 
Right. He hypnotizes you while he's having a conversation with you, and you don't know it. He look. He look like. He does look like he does stuff like that. He does look like yes. he, he's very good at his mouth. Oh, he talk, and he's very good at putting food on the table to get you comfortable. Right. Right. And I. And I. Do, so. Go ahead. I think poverty had a lot to do with with stuff because um, he was he was taking uh, young boys from their moms, mm -hmm. and he was he was having intercourse with them, and he was using them, and he was he was playing in front of the the parents' eyes with that. So a lot of it. It's called poor is a crime. Yes. You know, because in our culture, in our culture, because a person can do something for you, you overlook the things that they're doing, even if you're being abused. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did. Look at that picture with him in the water and there's a young man holding an umbrella over his yes, head. That's, that's what kind of nonsense is that? That, that, was, huh? that was crazy. That's not a young man. <laughs> holding the umbrella and he's in the water. I'm like, um, something not right about this. It's, it's just not it's, it's, right. Yeah, it's, it's nonsense. You know, like, he was using these people as personal slaves. Right. So, somebody, you know? Somebody asked us a, a weird question. They said, I'm only going to read this one comment. They said, how okay. did he hypnotize you? How he didn't hypnotize me? Yeah, that's what somebody says. Because I have a spirit and I can see through falseness. And Kevin was a false prophet from day one. Right. Anybody who, who knows him, he was a false prophet from day one. He only hypnotized Jamaicans because Jamaicans love foreigners. Right. And Kevin is from foreign and he's been all over the world. Yeah. He's even been to the Philippines. And Jamaicans love people who take planes. Yes. And remember, Kevin was not my bishop. I know Kevin when we were kids. Right. And we went to the same church. Mm -hmm. And he hung out with pastors that were grooming him to become the monster that he became. And as you can see, mm -hmm. as he became that monster, he, he physically changed his appearance. Physically changed. His face changed. If you look at the pictures of Kevin back then, it's right. not Kevin now. Because God loves children. And once you start hurting children, you turn into a monster physically. And that's what he became. He became so said, a monster. You said, he was, you said that Kevin, he was very skinny? He was very skinny. Wow. He's very skinny and I he's tall. Was, I thought he was always fat. No. Kevin, no, Dr. Love. Over the past two years, Kevin has gained that weight. Kevin was always skinny. Whoa. So where did yeah. he get the weight from? I think he got the weight from the human sacrifice, hurting children, the drinking of blood, and all of that. Yeah. Oh, because he, he looked like somebody that drink blood. Yeah. He, from the sacrificing, he doubled in a, in a bit of everything. Mm-hmm. He, he, he had intercourse with women. He, he was into animals and he was into men. And was, you can see that on his face. He was like, you mean he was messing with animals too? Well, they had cows there at the church, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. I think, I, he looked like a vampire to me. He, he does look, he does look crazy. Do, do you think, yeah. do you think it, do you think it stopped there? Um, what do you expound on that? All right, like, okay, now he's dead. And we understand that he have tapped into something that he should have never tapped into in the first place. So no right. he tapped into that. And they have taken out. People know. Here's the thing that I don't like about people. People are so stupid with not knowing the knowledge and take everything for a joke, right? No, you and me, no one others know that this is right and this is right. Reality. This is reality, right? So people think that okay, a person that tapped into spirit, right, go deeper into spirit, 
they just die and that's it, right? So what I'm saying is that no is dead, is dead, but his spirit and whatever he tapped into know. What do you think is going on are which way to say? His spirit will be also becomes just like the police station, for example. I right? He was at the police station. And I do believe that the police that police station is under like a problem. The fact that he was there. Right? And um, I do believe that his spirit went into something else. Because when you tapped into mm -hmm. those things, it doesn't stop there. That is my concern. So what do you think? That, that going to happen now? You think the journey... Is it, is it me who's cracking up or are you? No, I think it's the internet. Sometimes it goes in and out. It's, it's the internet. Maybe we should restart. Let's restart. So do I think that Kevin, I think that some... Huh? Okay. All right, restart it. Okay. Let's I think see. that somebody will try to use his spirit. Right. And don't you think that don't you think that the government they should bulldoze down the church and bulldoze down the house? Don't you think they should demolish and those properties? Of course, of course. I think it should be taken apart because there's a lot of people who have lost family members through that. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter if if I have proof. I know this is somebody who I know personally. Right. This is somebody who say they prophesy to me. This is somebody who I sit down and eat with. I know him personally. Right. I'm not just making up stories. I know him right. personally. You know? Right. Because when these people, when they came out, because when they came out with Kevin, I said, it's just normal Kevin to me. You know? And people right. are saying, where did where this guy came from. And I keep saying he's from Canada. He's from Canada, you know, but everybody's like, where this guy came from. He's from Canada. He was raised in Canada most of his life. And he right. found a way to make money in, in Jamaica. And that's what he did. 